It was a moonlit night on the island of Sodor. The Fat Controller had given Henry an important job. The Green Engine was to take a goods train of building supplies to a station on an old branch line. So he wants to restore that old branch line and station as a tourist attraction for next year? That's correct. He recently went there with a group of workmen to see if a restoration was possible and... Oh dear. What's the matter? Whenever that owl hoots, a mist rolls in, began Edward. There's a legend that when this happens, the ghost of a fogman who got lost in the mist long ago and was never found again appears. Take care on the old line, Henry. I wouldn't want to be the one to meet him. Puh! I don't believe in ghosts, and neither should you. Don't you have something better to do than scare me with your silly stories? Ugh, oh, stupid bird. As Henry puffed along the line, he couldn't help thinking about Edward's story. Owls, mists, ghosts. Edward's going soft in the boiler. There isn't any mist tonight. But Henry was wrong. Driver, what's that? That looks like an amber lamp, but that means proceed with caution. Who's there? But no one replied, so Henry crept slowly forward. Then, as he approached the old station, he stopped again. There was a sign nailed to the tree. It read, Beware of the Viaduct. The driver climbed out of the cab. That's strange, no one warned us about that. Then, Henry saw something that made his boiler shiver. The driver is that, uh... Why, it's a fog man's coat. And look, the signal's red too. D -d Didn't Edward say the ghost was a fogman? But before the driver could reply, they both saw something that made them jump. A small light flickered from within the abandoned station. G -g 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 ghosts Edward was right! I don't like this one bit. I think it's best if we head back for tonight. So do I! By the next morning, the mist had cleared. A workman was talking to Henry's driver that the viaduct was unsafe and was being repaired. Well, we're lucky we didn't cross it last night. Yes, but we still don't know who warned us. But Henry thought he knew. It must have been the... It, it must have been the... Ghosts. Later that day, the driver spoke to Henry. The viaduct has been taken care of, and we can take our train back down the old line tonight. But Henry didn't really want to. Just then, Thomas chucked into the yard. Henry told him about the legend and the spooky things he had seen the night before. Rubbish, Henry! Every engine knows there's no such thing as ghosts. But you weren't there. If you're so sure, why don't you take my train down the line tonight? N no, thank you. I've got a busy day tomorrow and need a rest. And Thomas weeshed away, leaving Henry more worried than ever. By nightfall, Henry's firebox was sizzling nicely, but he was still worried. As he waited for his driver, he heard the owl hoot again. And then Gordon rushed past with the express. Henry almost jumped off the rails. Look, boys, Henry spooked. Steady engine, steady engine. Oh, be quiet. I'm not scared. But 
Henry knew he was. A little later, the fog came down. As they approached the same area, they saw the amber light again. Oh boy, here we go. The warning sign was still on the tree. There's the Fogwin's coat again. Then, unbeknownst to Henry and his crew, the crossing gates started to close by themselves, and the signal went red. Faster! Faster! There's a ghost about! No! Stop! Stop! A mysterious figure watched Henry go by. Ahead was a landslide blocking the line. Henry braked hard, but it was too late. Just then, they heard someone running towards them. What's that? <laughs> There's your ghost, Henry. I think he's chasing us. Out of the fog came Old Bailey, the fogman. I tried to warn you about the rock slide. Why didn't you pay attention? We're very sorry, but the trucks gave us some trouble, and you can see how that turned out. Is there anything we can do to thank you? Yeah, I'd like to operate that old station once it reopens. I've grown quite fond of this place and would love to work here. I promise I'll never spook Henry again. Soon after, Old Bailey's wish was granted. The station opened with a grand celebration. Instead of his usual red coat, Old Bailey wore a smart blue station master's uniform and cap. You will be really useful with warning us about any danger. Let's hear a big thank you to the friendliest, er, uh, ghost on the island. Everyone cheered, and Henry whistled happily, and he never believed in ghosts again.